Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll know exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Good girl. Oh yeah, don't like that. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Like this. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, Whoa. and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, oh, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need, a muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry, she doesn't have anything. Yeah, uh, hey Al, Al, what's, oh. oh Barry! What? Oh no. What? That cup should have shattered. It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. 
Oh, no. You must turn the lights on. Oh, no. Turn the light on. Back to left below. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, there's Barry. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Jesus. Milk and sugar on the counter there. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had, how she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer, but those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, that's interesting. I guess we're gonna see Randolph or the police soon. Which is honestly fair. F fair response to, well, this, normally. Oh, you're going to get it now. Uh, God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. Jesus. Oh, this is that page to page. But there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh my god! For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. 
When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. I'm the rider on the ferry. I don't like this. <laughs> it wants me to write something for it. Oh no. The, the darkness wants me to write something for Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh. Oh fuck. Stop me. Nope. 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 They were after. But they're after me. Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were. Hey, Mulligan, what you doing? Come on. Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of old scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc. Just being plain over. weird. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, fed's gonna wanna interview Wheeler. Over. Oh yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All looking out. I imagined that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Why am I going to the coal mine? Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a fight. Oh, right, the, the... I need to go to the coal mine for the feeding. Okay. <laughs> Eat shit. I nearly forgot where we were going to the coal mine. Because <laughs> I am stupid. I keep forgetting to move because I have tracking with VC face. Because Magic Mirror doesn't want to work. Oh, hell yeah. My tracking does. I mean, not my tracking. Um, what is it? V Magic Mirror doesn't want to work, so I'm using VC face. Ideal weapon for my situation. Uh. Oh, that's <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> 
Go, Voltor! Go, Electro! Uh... Zapdos? Yeah. Zapdos. That way, that way. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Wait, is this the guy from the boat? It is the guy from the boat. Thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint. You're the Laura. guy with Max Tennyson's voice. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer, Alan... Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, That's Mr. the guy Wake. that looks like both my grandparents. Granddads. No way to run now, Dan Brown. You got it away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm. Dan Brown. Put this gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Good God, Alan. How did we end up in this situation? Oh, it's because we got drugged. And suddenly everything is assumed that it's our fault. Give me a goddamn gun. Get him? No! Ah! That got him. Boom! Sanctuary, you know I've been. <gasps> yes! Wait, shotgun ammo, revolver ammo, revolver. Where's the shotgun? Can't give me shotgun ammo and not expect me to look for a shotgun. What? That's dumb. Or at least I have a gun again. Whoever left that in the middle of the woods, thank you. Yeah, no, it shit. <gasps> Check it. Oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Mother Teresa on the hood of a Mercedes Benz. If you get that reference, I love you. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way. 
but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Oh, goody. Okay, we're not near a bridge yet. Fuck. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Alan, this is more about you. This is way more than just your wife anymore. This is getting crazy. Shoot, shoot. Fuck. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. It was bad when it was just people. What do I even do about that? Okay. It was bad enough when it was shadowy figures, now it's quite literally the darkness itself, and it's just controlling objects. The dark... The dark is alive, everybody! Don't be afraid of what's in the dark, be afraid of the dark, because the dark itself is a thing, apparently! Good God, I hate this! Such cool sound design, though. Oh my god! No! Oh. My. God. Um. I'm gonna take a break. And I will resume recording after this. <laughs> um, but for now... This is where I'm going to end this episode, because this is frustrating. So, I'm going to take a break. And we'll see what happens next in episode 7. <laughs> see you in the next episode, whatever I make. Okay, bye-bye!